How's it going there, soldiers of the Reject Battalion? We are here. It's John and Andrew Gordon sir, today yes, sir. to check out the air cut of Suicide Squad, a.k.a. 2014's Fury. How you doing, man? Are you excited? I'm good. You ruined the punchline of my not-so-funny joke, I was going to say. I was going to ask... Take it again. Are, are, back to one. No, no, no. It's fine. I was going to ask, are we watching the theatrical cut or is this the air cut? I was just curious. I don't know, but I guess we're going to find out. You are going to find out. And hey, either way, before we jump into this, just comment below. Do you want to see the air cut? Because I do. <laughs> Leave your thoughts down below. I Leave always want to see the air like cut. for director's visions being unmangled when they get to us. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time one of these videos comes your way. As well, thank you to the fine folks at Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. It is a task. We appreciate them dearly for it. And if you guys want to get the complete Fury experience alongside Andrew and myself, grab your own copy, bring it over to patreon.com slash the real rejects and sync up with us. You can enjoy the movie front to back as well as all the other things we have streaming over there with highlights and watch alongs included. It's a blast, people. It's a good time. And uh, speaking of time, it is now time to jump in this movie. Are you ready, Andrew? Sir, yes, sir. Roll out. <laughs> I love a good bit of radio chatter. World War, II. World War II American tanks were outgunned and out armored by the more advanced Chaman tanks. U.S. tank crewmen suffered staggering losses against the superior enemy vehicles. <laughs> Interesting. The air cut. <laughs> The Allies fight deep in the heart of Nazi Germany, encountering the most fanatical resistance yet. In desperation, Hitler declares total war, mobilizing every man, woman, and child. Huh. A casual stroll over no man's land. It's the reverse ending of Shane. <laughs> Coming back into town. Do appreciate a striking and patient opening shot. Oof. My war horse. Damn. Jeez. Like a, literally a boneyard made of tanks. Oh! Jeez. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Damn! It's, what an entrance. Huh. Jeez. And great perspective shift, too. I was just thinking, we don't even know what side this guy's on yet. <laughs> God, and the pale horse, too. <laughs> face to face with symbolism. <laughs> How long you been chilling down there? I was going to say that was not only an impressive entrance, but impressive that he survived that ensuing battle before, too. Sure. <laughs> Everyone's favorite character from Ant Man. Be nice to see him in a drama again. Yeah, yeah. Michael Payne is a great actor. Oh, he is. Crash was the first movie I ever saw him in. Did you that fucker? Knocked him off. And then I killed the shit out of him. Stabbed the shit out of him. Whoa. What's going on there, Shia? Lord, oh, stop me, rest. Or he's dead. Show some respect. Uh, leave him alone. Yeah, just leave him. It's your fault! God damn it, ain't you done yet? You got no right to be fucking sore with me. Quit fucking riding me. <laughs> More where he came from. You dodged your fault, we here. Oh, that is John Bernthal. Oh, yeah, damn. You, didn't you didn't recognize him? I thought it looked like him, but yeah. Oh, I was about to say it, but I figured you'd recognize him. I said, why y'all's whooping on me? Because you're an animal, a dog. All you understand is the fist and boot. Dog, I'm telling you right now. Yeesh. Call me that. I ain't a fucking animal. You keep talking shit to me, I'm going to punish you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you want to talk Mexican? Join another tank. This yeah. American tank. We talk American. <laughs> and I want my scalps. You talk German. I can't talk Spanish. Why, what country are we in? Germany. Germany. They speak German. <laughs> we go to Mexico. We'll oh, talk shit. Mexican. I expect all of you to pull your shit together. And I want my shit. You should stop ragging on everyone. You can kill red Germans did. That is true, but I didn't save me either. His number came up. That's all. We've been lucky till now. Been lucky? <laughs> We're all alive. We're in here. God's grace. 
Luck has nothing to do with this. Really good job of establishing like who these guys are and their interactions are already so good. And a nice contrast from all the silence to start with. Yeah. And just immediate bickering. Range gun. Oof. Don't ask any time, sweetheart. Oh, my sweetheart, right? Uh. Jeez. Choke her up, she's cold. There's condensation on the pump. Oh, boy. God, these guys must have had to spend so much time in close quarters to prep for this. Yeah, that's kind of, I was just thinking that. Ooh. Ooh. Bible gun front. Jeez. Oh, collection. War, I like it. Yeah, your war Those trophies. Evil. Those evil, miserable bleeps. <laughs> Good cut. Jeez. Abrupt, appropriate cut. Like it. Subverting our expectations in that moment. Ooh, the fury. Some really impressive cinematography so far. Ooh. Wow. Yep. Yep. I wasn't thinking about it, but but I feel like, yeah, if anybody's going to show us like some of those nasty little like casual nuances of the fallout of war, it's going to be David Ayer. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where they shot this. Oh. Yeah. I don't know where they shot this. Is in the mud. True. <laughs> yeah. Steady yourself. Thought you were dead. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Ugh. Blame down. Blame down. Move. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, careful, boys. Sergeant. Where's the rest of 3rd platoon? You're looking at him. We're it. Tag. We got a job to do. We stock ammo and rations. Cordo, water and gas. Boys, get some chow and do what you can about the mechanical issues. We can't do shit about mechanical issues. Where are you going? Uh, to not mourn some more. <laughs> or yeah, maybe just kind of, yeah, let it out right here. <laughs> Gotta stay strong for his men. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, buddy. Don't want to tear down team morale. Damn, just like the scarring on his face. Yeah, yeah, you can tell just from that how much battles he's been through. Oh. I don't like the choice to have it just be a sound cue. Like, I thought we were going to cut to something, but not nah, just like playing it in his face. First Sergeant Collier? Maybe with we'll you. <laughs> Private Ellison, I was told to report to you. I'm your new assistant driver. Oh, is that Logan? Percy Jackson? Oh, Logan Lerman? No, you are not. <laughs> oh. Who told you this? Master Sergeant with the clipboard. Bullshit. Right there. He's right. Oh. What's your name? Norman. Osborne? Yes, definitely. How long have you been in the Army? Ten days. Eight weeks. You're close. <laughs> That's home. Do as you're told. Don't get too close to anyone. You're the new red. No pressure. Hi, I'm Norman. Oh, no. Damn, he's, <laughs> he's right like now. way out of his element right now with these guys. I love it. Well, and no one's ready to receive him. Which way is the front? Which way is the front? <laughs> All around us, kid, because it's Germany. We're surrounded by crowds. Is that right, Greg? That's right. Yeesh. <laughs> Don't read my diary. Can I please have my book back? What are your cigarettes? I don't smoke. Now you do. Hey, you go to tank school? No. Never even seen me inside of a tank. Oh, that's comforting. I was heading to 5th Corps HQ. They pulled me off the truck. They sent me here. Oh, wow. That's how much they value your lives. Are you a praying man? I go to church. What kind of Bible you got? Who's your nomination? Are you Episcopalian? Yeah, you are. You're a mainliner, ain't you? <laughs> I am. Are you saved? Oh. I'm baptized? <laughs> yeah, that ain't what I asked you. That ain't what he asked you. Go to what I was... <laughs> Dude, he's going to have to harden up to hang with these guys. No, they're going to soften up to his level. Oh, definitely. Wait until you see. See what? What a man can do to another man. True that. This is an interesting choice in the score to have it like a heartbeat, too. Get a bucket of hot water from the kitchen. Get that shit clean. Oh, yeah. Red's still probably all over it. It's a fascinating eyeline, too. The most out of your element for us to relate through. Oh, wowie. 
guy. Oh, uh, yeah. How much time in the army is just spent scrubbing? That's a good question. That's why they're so strong. Just Whoa! Oh! Wow! My God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah. Props to the uh, special effects team, though. That's uh, quite convincingly real. Oh, he's not going to sleep right ever again. We'll throw up. Yep. Yeah. I, I would probably be doing the same thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. I think he's ready to go out into the field. I have a feeling we are about to see a war movie that sort of redefines war what gore in war movies looks like. Like, I feel like war movies already introduce you to the kinds of carnage you wouldn't normally see in other more pulpy things, but especially here, like, with that face bit, like, degloved elements, like, ugh. Uh. I imagine we're gonna see some shit. <laughs> hey, why are you bringing him through here? Why isn't he sleeping? G2 wants a prisoner to question. Sure. Was ist deine Lieblingsfarbe? Ist ein guter Tänzer? Stehst du auf Weiber? Oh, oh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. You have my permission. Get back. Get back. Jesus. You see that? He's an SS. You kill every last one you can, the real assholes. Sure. Done much killing? No. You will. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what do I do with this? <laughs> <laughs> See that cover? Yeah. Open it. Now you kill it. Close it up. Uh. Main unit's punching east. We are going north. We'll tie up with Baker Company from the 41st. Sergeant Collier is with us now. He'll be acting platoon sergeant. God, man. This guy is so fresh-faced by comparison. We're meeting Baker Company here. Then together, we'll take this town. After that, we're working for Captain Wagoner. I got one question. Sure. Peterson. I'm Big Kowski, sir. Get it right! You start shaving your face. The dialogue is so good so far. Yeah. Hey! Stop war, Daddy! Golf is too hot! Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have something to laugh about. I love how quick he is. <laughs> you are in German and and it, wow. Germany, an enemy country. Oh my god. Oh, look that's, out. Wow. Oh. Saddens my heart. Alright, there might be a wolf hiding in the sheep. Get your Yeah. Wow. Prop, you do what you gotta do. Copy? I copy. Uh, is he going to hesitate? Hey, gun's ready. Just pull the trigger. Every five rounds of the tracer so you can see what you're hitting. And remember, short burst. That way you harvest more meat, poor bullet. Oof. Wowie. A tracer. Huh? This is doing a very nice job of highlighting that this is just miserable for everyone. <laughs> Should let you f for a chocolate bar. <laughs> not true. Hey. Okay, it's not true. Please. True. We'll just give her some smokes. You ain't got to fuck around and give her a whole pack neither. <laughs> Support Christ now. Don't let them lead you straight. Sure. Be a faithful man. Don't try to convert your heat. You mind if I continue to turn me? Jesus loves Hitler. Hitler said that Jesus in his heart got baptized and be saved. <sighs> What about your regulations? Yeah. You're not lying true. No, I'm not gonna do this. He's going to head. We've been talking about the same dumb shit for three years. You know I stand on it. Trying to rile me up now. Hey, but for us, the audience. Sing me a hymn. Yeah, sure. Sing old Rugged Cross. Don't sing. I like. I'll sing it if you don't do that. Touch your mustache. Touch your mustache. Let me touch your This is what John does to me all the time. Let me touch it. It's actually it's very satisfying. Boy, do you think Hitler on a bus for a chocolate bar? I mean, rumor has it he might. This is also capturing the slowness of travel. Uh, uh, oh, oh, damn! That is like a rocket. Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, got him! Wow! Damn! Whoa! Oh, oh my God! This becomes an oven. Father. Dude, stay focused, bro. I feel you. Stay focused. Ah! Whoa! Huh. Yeah, that's scary. Oh, jeez. 
Why didn't you take the shot? He was, he was just a kid. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, sir. Oh, uh, this is lesson one. Look, that's your fault. <sighs> Ooh. Next German you see with a weapon, you wreck the dog shit out. I don't care if it's a baby with a butter knife in one hand, and mama's t the other. You chop him up, sergeant. Eesh. Ugh. All tanks, war daddy. Looks <laughs> like I'm it. <laughs> Tag. I'll lead the column. Let's get us where we're going. <laughs> and on we go. The cycle hums. Yes, sir. I'm not a sir. Me neither. <laughs> oh. Who's in charge of this column? I am. Hey. Oh, Scott Eastwood? Yeah, Scott Eastwood. Park it over there. Old man's waiting. Ah, and the Nair worked with him again in uh, everyone's favorite comic book film. You know, maybe they can get together for a third collab. Make a six out. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Load the casualties into a truck. Hey, Jason Isaacs. Oh, is that him? Damn. All right, how many tanks we got? Four. Four. Or you could say Lucius Malfoy. His American accent is actually convinc convincing. All right, here's the deal. I got a platoon trapped in this beat built by machine guns. I sent my tracks in. Jerry took him out. Wowie. Anti tank guns there, there, possibly there. I don't know. <laughs> I need you to rescue my guy. I think this is the first time I've heard him with this accent. Yeah, I've never heard him with an American accent either. This high ground, you got any eyes on it? I had eyes there, gone there, gone. We're flying blind. It's you and me. It's all about that high ground. You can arrive on a magic coffin for all I care. I know you know what you're doing. You just paced them hard for me. They murdered some good boys out there today. Yeah, and every day. <laughs> Let's get these boys out of there and smash those guns. Why are we rescuing kittens instead of just driving down to Berlin? Why are you such huh. an asshole? <laughs> March order. Fury. Old Phyllis. Lucy Sue. Murder Inc. <laughs> God, what names. Thanks, Com Chair. I think he's ready for this one this time. Yeah. Good old Norman. He's getting there. God willing. He will be hardened by the end of the film. Unfortunately. Let's get the boys off. Get them off. Give me last man. All right, lady. You were the man. Jeeps. Close your head. Damn. Those do look freaking heavy. Yeah. Something's waiting. Yeah. It's a trap. Well, it's a rescue, I guess, right? Dude, so much tension. Yeah. Well, just like the constant chatter, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's hold up. If I say hold back, hold back. God. Oh, oh yeah. Nikes! What? Damn! Uh, like green. Wow. What, what is that? They're going so fast. That's why they look like that. Wow. Jeez. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Nice shot. Fire! Ooh. Fire! 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 Come on, Norman, be the hero. Yeah. <laughs> God, every Ooh. every shot, every blast, like you it feel hits. it. Yeah. All tanks, start squirting that tree line. Let's light him up. Let's start squirting that tree. Wow. Line. It's interesting the color of the the flashes. Well, what do I shoot at? The Nazis, dumb. This, yeah. Jeez. That's a good idea. Yeah. Boy, th throwing him in the trenches on the Whoa. first day! Got him. Ooh. Whoa! Do what you're here for! No, I was loading the gun! Yeah, faster. His... Oh! Oh! Hey, squirt those squats on the left! Oh. oh, I see our dead bodies. How do you know they're dead? Are you a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I shoot them if they're already dead? It's called the double tap! So they don't stand up as soon as an ass! Yeah. Be here! Eight, four, 
Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh. Same pretty, you know? That's what we do. Damn. Yeah. I mean, this is just the first day. But I get it. I would fold pretty quickly, too, probably. I mean, yeah, we we would all have to... This is just a threshold that I imagine anybody who makes it far enough gets to. First time you see real action, I can only imagine. I mean, we're just watching it on a nice HD TV, and it's yeah, pretty I mean, crazy. With, so. with zero perspective of our own. Yeah, so imagine <laughs> if you're actually there. It's I'm assuming it's 50,000 times worse. Oh... Oof. No moment to breathe. Yeah. I promised my crew a long time ago I'd keep them alive. You're getting in the way of that. <laughs> okay, I am trained to type 60 words a minute. I am not trained to machine gun dead bodies. I am trying my very best. Sure, man. I like that choice of uh, Brad Pitt's character there with quivering his uh, lip there. That was a good choice. Oh, yeah. he He's being tough on this dude because he has to be. Yeah. And he knows... How harsh it is that he has to be. Of course. He can sympathize, but also at the same time, he's got to look out for his crew. I get it. Get out here. Oh, he's going to have you do it. Norman, come here. Oh, yep. Here it comes. I mean, he did get a kill earlier with the machine gun, but actually to have him do a uh, close combat one. Him, yeah. Not even combat. He just needs to do an execution. Yeah. He uh, needs to harden harden him up. Sergeant. Right. Call your dog dog. This is my dog. Yeah, because you were so concerned for other people's families and children, too. So, yeah, we should sympathize with you. You are no goddamn good to me unless you can kill crowds. Put a big fat hole in his back. Mm. No. Why the hell not? It's not right. We're not here ah. for right and wrong. We're here to kill them. Jeez. You know why he's here? Well, wow. To kill you. He's here to kill you, man. He's here to rip your throat and pull out in your... We're already in hell. I'm trying to teach you something. I need you to perform. Get it over with. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Uh, you or him? Pick. Ooh. Kill me. Yeah. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. That's the easy part. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's gonna force. Yeah. Do it, Norman. <laughs> We've all been you, kid, or at least many of us. I'm sure, some people out there had no hesitation, which is also scary. I like how much of this is being communicated through expression and silent moments in between. Like, the dialogue is only ever half of it. We've been together since before Africa. I won't fight with anybody else. Me neither. There ain't no crew stay together like we have, Norm. That's because of him. We love him. We love him. Down in North Africa. <laughs> Don, he done shit his drawers full. <laughs> <laughs> he stunk tank up roll out. <laughs> it's true. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. What are y'all talking about over here? Norman. I haven't seen you eat anything all day. Make sure you get something to eat. He is like the emotionally reserved, repressed dad. <laughs> you best go eat something. And these are just the brothers. Make sure he sees it, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, their hands are in, I mean, their lives are in his hands, so they got to toughen him up. I get it. It's both. Yeah. It's like for their sakes. And if he's going to be here, you know, for his. Wow, what a great Ooh. cinematic shot. <laughs> Wowie. There you go, boys. Keep pounding. Impressive. Tom Hardy's up there somewhere. I understood that reference. <laughs> and Christopher Nolan's up there with them, right? Oh, always. I got to rewatch that one. It's been, it's been a while. Oh, poor. <laughs> poor war horses. <sighs> Something children. What did them sons say? I'm a coward and refuse to fight to the German people. Wow. Wow. The SS does that. Let them rip themselves to pieces, huh? Now you gotta go into action, Norman. But they doubt a paper. Whoa. And that one shot, too, where they ran over that one soldier. Ugh. Check those chills. I got you, daddy. 
And we are just traveling in real time, too. Or what mostly feels like real time. Gordo just punched through that wall of smoke. Copy. Okay, hard left. Nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Oh boy, oh boy. This must have been a wild experience to shoot. Opa, losing die Deutschen Soldaten. Oh my god! Jesus! Damn. Woo! On the way! Scared the bejesus Woof. out of me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Come on, no love. Where's Barry Pepper right now? Up in the bell tower. I have not seen it. It's Saving Private Ryan. I assume uh, you're talking about. I've not seen it. Wow, add that to the list, boy. Come on, keep moving up. Watch that door. Watch that doorway. Whoa! Wow Is that Scott Eastwood? Bye, Scott Eastwood. No! Whoa! <laughs> Jeez. Seller on my left, mind giving him what for? We'll slap him around a little bit for you. <laughs> I'm assuming the violence in Saving Private Ryan is around this level. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is is it? It is violent and in ways you're not used to. But this is going even further in that direction in terms of just like stuff you're not seeing bodies do when being rendered. <laughs> wow. Wish I could read some of that German. I. Yeah. No. That's Willie Pete in that ground floor. Willie Pete. Wow. I didn't realize how many things have a foot trigger. Yeah. Let them suffer. Hey, Norman. Yeah. Mercy killing. Stacking them up. You should have let him burn. He's being accepted by the group, but he's still rebelling. Oh no! Way. Of course, of course. Understandably so. That's a yeah. That's a character beat. <laughs> We're halt here. Waving the white flag. Men, die noch da sind, möchten sich ergeben. Der Krieg ist vorbei. Gott sei Dank. Kowski, load an 18. Get ready to put in that bank if these people want to test. All the weapons. Check the door. Check the door. Oh, oh God! Wow. It's a bunch of kids. Dude, but they were for. I mean, I'm not a green, but they were forced to do it. You saw what happens when they don't do it. Shoot that guy. This guy. Yeah, him. The SS sucker with the busted wing. Yeah. Sure. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Quick but brutal. Could squibs too. Oh yeah. Take care of you, okay? <laughs> he he gave her a chocolate bar right before that. That's true. He's got a whole bag full. She's <laughs> dude. Oh, he's <laughs> gonna give her a little TLC, John. Tender, loving, caring. They're just going to talk, man. He just wants to get to know her. It's their first date, Andrew. Uh huh. Norman, <laughs> wasn't nothing, right? <sighs> Open out those hindies. You flashed them real good. Wasn't nothing, right? Sure, Sergeant. Mm. Yeah, it was nothing. I kind of like this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> did did you though? The communication happening between their eyes versus what they're saying. It's fascinating. Ugh. It's like there's a double speak you have to adopt, and you're all kind of aware that this isn't good for your soul, but <laughs> they knew we were coming. So they got drunk as lords and they shot themselves a son up. Burn that portrait. Why are you showing me this? Ideals are peaceful. History is violent. Phew. Bars. If only we could get to a peaceful history. I'd say Viggo Mortensen would agree. Vigo, sorry. I still haven't seen that one either. Every Vigo Mortensen movie? Every single one now. <laughs> do what I tell you. If you do that, you'll make it through this thing. Sir, yes, sir. Come on. Oh no. Oh. Speak some German. We want to hear. <laughs> Based up in. Blut. This is. It's probably the first word you learned. Peace. I think she has it. 
a child there or her husband? I don't know. Husband or child, John, which one? Or like a, a refugee throws a real curveball. Come on! Oh, oh. Damit hätten Sie umbringen können. Sie ist meine Cousine. Tut mir leid. Er hat mir Angst. Das She's so he keeps pushing her around by the chest. Yeah. You can see me eyes as fast. Make me a sandwich, but in German. <laughs> <laughs> Wie heißt du, youngest mate? Emma. You have an Emma in your life? What? Huh. Oh, hard boiled eggs? Yeah. Cigarettes? Wow. I was about to say, is he going to offer cigarettes? Just gave him two full packs. It's like $100 in. Back then. Military cigarette exchange currency. Oh. That's <laughs> how you win your way to a woman's heart. Either poetry or playing the piano. Or taking your shirt off. Or having abs like that. That works too. <laughs> huh. Heart's he all a flutter. He points the gun at me and he plays the piano. I'm so afraid I'm about to rip this moment apart. I know. I was thinking which... that. Whoa. Oh, damn, he's been through it. And that is not what I expected. Ah, <laughs> such a great shot. Damn. She's a good, clean girl. You don't take her in that bedroom, I will. Blah, 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 blah. Good <laughs> advice. Jeez. Oh, jeez. You know, she She'll so make a man Ooh. out of you. Ooh. Wowie. Nine. <laughs> this is a nice moment, though, for us to catch our breath a little from the battle. This is the first true moment of a breather that truly feels like one. And I think that's a smart... We're like, what, like an hour in? It's like, that's a smart choice, actually. Because even the low-key moments have been fraught with stress and anger and all sorts of other things. And I see your hand. I mean, you can tell a lot about a person from the lines on their hand. <laughs> you study palmistry? Does she speak English? That is your heart line. You are going to have one great love in your life. Oh, my. <sighs> I think she understood that. Yep. <laughs> Interesting moment of hesitation. Very intimate. God, the, those doors ain't that thick. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have some privacy? It's a good commander. He hooked him up. How much time has passed here? It's been at least five minutes <laughs> and 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? Oh my God. You guys played a board game. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a battle about to start. Oh no. No man. Uh, come for you to act the man. Hey, special gal, she down there, she waiting on you. Oh no. Yeah, she Ugh. looks a little bit like, but. Oh my God. You snap? What did you do? Ugh. Did you? God, and the tension, like, on her is... Pretty young thing for a yeah. role. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nice you do that? What's your, what would you do? What would you do? Why a quiver? Dude, uh, do not touch her. Come on, man. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. Don't oh, touch no. Tell me what to do. You think you get some... Uh, act like a man? Anyone touches a girl, they get their teeth kicked in. Sir, yes, sir. I like, I like how honorable he is. All right, then. I guess it's Norman Day, huh? <laughs> the beach is at Norman Day. Damn. Just ruin the whole mood. Two spring days. Best take a bite. You a man, right, drinking? Uh, at least give him a chaser. <laughs> you're getting my head. 
Bro, it's early. It should be like that. <laughs> 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 like that? And touch me. Don't touch me. You a man, right? Just a man, right? God, dude. How about I kill you right here? Right here? <laughs> the literal opposite character. <laughs> I don't know. They kind of acting the same to me. Yeah. My bad. I don't know which one to shoot. We love you, dear Lord. Thank you for this meal. It's wonderful company. Amen. 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 Wonderful company. Emma. Offer the girl her plate. Even you? Even Bible guy? Hang on there. Let's that for you. Oh, come Dude, really? God. This is like the most horrific hazing. <laughs> Join my meal, boys. And as much as you want to destroy it, you're not going to stop me. No, sir. <sighs> and Norman, do you like horses? Not if, not if any of you guys are asking. Don likes horses. Isn't that right, Don? We're eating. No, we're not. I'm done. I'm done eating. <laughs> Crying. He's always crying. In France, we hit the beach right after D-Day. We had to fight through all these hedgerows. Pain in the ass, right? <laughs> Finally hit open country, and we linked up with the British and the Canadians. And you know what we did? Ugh. We trapped an entire crowd army, pulling back into Germany. Took them out. We took yeah. them out. There was dead crowds and horses, busted up tanks for miles. Hmm? Uh, kilometers. Your eyes see it, but your head can't make no sense of it. And we go in there. This poor woman. For three whole days, we shoot that wounded horses. <sighs> Jeez. Do you know how you kill a horse? Put it on the forehead, no? And it becomes your friend. It goes like this. And then you shoot it. Jesus. Right through the spine. Oh. All the black clouds of flies just buzzing around. It's like being in a, in a giant beehive. With the beekeeper. That's a good reference there, John. Man. It's my movie you're talking about. A real fine story. <laughs> Pleasant mealtime talk. Thank you. <laughs> What happened, happened. What's going to happen is going to happen. Sitting here playing house, a couple of bitch crowds ain't going to change it. Shut the f up. Why should I shut up? Wow. The old man wants you. How come? You got to miss him. I would not leave those Let's guys go. up there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> next to start, I name it. Knock the next to. John the next to. Mr. Alla Alf came. Aw, she likes him. Y'all getting married? <laughs> Y'all doing? Dude. Oh, I hope they get to see each other again. Italian needs you to guard these crossroads here and this grid on the open. They have tanks, horses, artillery. All the above. All the tanks are driving on Berlin. A couple of thousand cooks, mechanics, and doctors here. Those crowds hit them, they will be a slaughter. Yeah. All we got is you. <sighs> Jeez. I need you to crossroads as fast as you can. Don't stop for anything. You understand? Take my gas if you have to. Let those troops get past you. It's over. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. Oh, I hope those two women are okay. I was gonna say, was that the building they were just in? I was just thinking that. And <laughs> just always that name painted on the barrel. Good. <laughs> and framed right next to a, a musical horn. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, god damn it. Oh, crap. Oh, how Shit. cruel. Oh, no. Oh, my god, dude. Under the piano and everything. No. Oh, you're the last person. Kill him. Kill him. Ugh. Wow. Damn. I guess he has a point, but also... Yeah, but if he wasn't being so cold and heartless before when they were with her, I mean... Yeah. Oh, he knows that look. I do love seeing this vulnerable side of uh, Brad Pitt's character, too. Really appreciate it. You see that? That's an entire city on fire. I started this war killing Germans in Africa, then France, then Belgium. Now I'm killing Germans in Germany. Mm. But all burning cities look the same. It will end soon, but before it does, a lot more people gotta die. Uh -huh. 
I can understand now why PTSD is such a real thing. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I mean, it seems like you spent ten minutes in a oh! place like this. Oh! Oh. Oh. Goddamn tigers! What's the f on your face? Let's go, Greg! Smoke up, Greg! On the wide! Yeah! Wow. Go Mowgli on its ass! Hit that son of a bitch! No more smoke! Go, go, go! Shoot them! Stop, 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 stop! That's what I was saying. It looked like they were about to hit trees. What do we got? Ah, nothing, nothing. Oh. That deep guttural vocal. Charge! Come on! Oh! It's that tiny little slide! Oh! <laughs> that dude just just turned into Jeez. a cloud of red. Oof. Ooh. They shoot the son of a bitch. He's lining up on Roy. Oh my god. Wow. Damn. It really is going to be down to just you. We're on this left. Jump to us now. Hurt him. Get around him. Put us on his backside. Oh my god. How many other, like, predominantly tank based war movies are there? I just realized we've had so many of these tank fights and now we're literally just doing like a tank melee. This is intense. Ooh. Jeez, dude. Wow. Coming out now. Get out of house, house, house. Oh. oh! Get him, Norman! Yeah. Oh. Norman! He has. Oh, after what he just witnessed, they did to his woman. <laughs> yeah, he's changed. He's not. He's not gonna hesitate <laughs> anymore. He's to some degree engaging in that bloodlust. That fury. <laughs> hey, good job, Norm. Welcome to the army, Norm. <laughs> you did good. Oh. He's a part of the team. Best job I've ever had. Best job I've ever had. That's the way you gotta cope and convince yourself of shit. Ugh. Yeah. Head out those crossroads. Keep it out of crowd hands like we've been told. There's a wave coming in. We're the rock to break that wave. What did we say about the Spanish in the tank? He said it was okay, right? It'd be whatever the German equivalent is. All right, there's a crossroads. We're gonna take us up on that hill. We can cover the whole valley from there. There's a demon up there. We can make a deal. Whoa! Jesus! Like a, like a mine. Oh, oh my crap! God. Settle down. It's a mine. We hit a mine. Is all. Is all. I have been jump scared quite a few times in this film. I mean, it, it speaks to the disconcertion and how anything can rip through the room at any time. Yeah, true. Norman, you and Kunaus check out that building. Get my toss. Ugh. Oh. What? Oh. Hospital wing? Yeah, was this like an old medical <laughs> barracks? I think you're a good man. I think maybe we ain't, but I think you are. <laughs> I wanted to tell you that. It's okay. Come on, let's go. I appreciate that dialogue. Head up top of that hill near those trees. You got outpost guard. Can I grab my canteen? Yeah, you can grab your canteen. <laughs> top of the hill, then work your way from the trees. Gonna be like a predator out here. Yeah. Cake yourself in mud. Yeah. It's probably real easy to stay in character oh, and also on a set to like the, this. The way it's shot, and then with all the action sequences. Oh, yeah, from top to bottom, just, like, figuring out how to make something like this happen. It's, yeah. I've been marveling, like, every scene. Oh, no. Yeah. Crap. Get, get out there, get down there. That shot looking through the leaves, just, like, the lens, 
the le the glass, like the way you can kind of feel the glass in some of these shots. We're gonna have a little repeat of uh, your previous battalion massacre. Slow down. They're coming right now. Who's coming? The Germans. How many? Uh, two, maybe three hundred of them. See, 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 see. They got vehicles too. Tanks? No, 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 just trucks. Point the tanks at the trucks. Just yeah. Fire away. Goddamn SS battalion. Yeah, let's just get our shit, all right? Looks about to be dark. Just get on up out of here, huh? Oh, we're staying in our tank. We're gonna fight it out. We can't. I'm gonna hold this crossroad. What you mean you gonna hold this? The tank's busted. <laughs> What's your point? Well, we ain't gotta tell you how we gonna fight. We got a cannon. No, that don't make Stop. sense. You don't Stop. Stop. You got a death wish, sir. Get out of here. Get to that tree line. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Take care of yourselves. Get to that tree line. Oh, no, no, no. Guys, you got to stay with him now. Come on. Yeah, help Dad. It's my home. Oh. I'm staying here with you. Damn. We're going to stay. Uh -huh. I love the way that they play with what is your plan? the real struggle of being a a team, a battalion, and the leadership involved with that. They don't just all just trust him completely implicitly. It's not like they never mouth off, like... Oh, it humanizes the characters, too, as well. Not just gonna blindly follow orders. Well, yeah. And, like, in a moment like that, I'm like, I don't know, half of them could've just, like, you know, I, I bet they probably won't, but half of them could've just walked right off. Well, I mean, too, when I say blindly follow orders, I mean, at the same time he said, go on, get out of there, go with that tree line. But that's what, that's what I'm saying, though, is I'm not as used to seeing that, where it's like they clearly have a huge amount of trust in this guy, but not so much that there aren't times where you're like, this could all fall apart right now, you know? Oh, ho, ho. Wow. Ah. Uh. May the odds be ever in your favor. Sure. Bless it. What you gonna do with that? I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> Holy fire water. You know, there's Bible verse I think about sometimes. <laughs> Many times it goes, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Oh. I said, Here am I. Send me. Oof. Dang. Isaiah chapter 6. Knowing how committed Shia LaBeouf is, I'm sure in real life he learned the whole Bible. I'm thinking he pulled that tooth out for real. Like, you fight. Drink a machine, ain't you? This is. Machine, that's it. That's his warning. Whew. Hey. I christened the machine. <laughs> Damn, dude. Machine. 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 That's what you gotta be, I guess. <laughs> That is a lot. It's <laughs> an interesting gesture. Oh! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Shot. Reload. Oh no. Yeah. We got thirty on the roof. We got ammo outside. Jeez. And it looks completely dead. Like it looks like hell outside now. Yeah. yeah. Felt oh, that boy. line through my soul. Oh boy. Come on, man. Yep. <laughs> I think they'll let that one slide. Click, click, click. Yeah. Yep. Oh! 
No, no. Yeah. Damn sure no good leaking all over. So patch me up then. You're hurt. You're bleeding. Mm -hmm. I got time to bleed. If a man loves the world, love of the Father's not in him. All that's in the world, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. Oh. It's not of the Father, it's of the world. Well, it was desires pass away. But he who does God's will is going to live forever. Forever. Interesting. It's fascinating to see them, like, cope with the godlessness of what they're doing with faith, or at least the kind of communal thing that you can turn faith into. Damn sure they're working away behind us. Anybody see anything? I see nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Damn. Yeah, they're coming. Badger fall, four o'clock. Oh shit. Wow. He missed. Hit with the collar. Wow. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh crap. Shit. Who got hit? Oh. Get up! Still in this fight! Yeah. This chapter of Fury is called Despair. How long can we keep this up? As long as it takes. Yeah. I'm out! I need a new pen! That's the last bill. She's out! That's all there is. Yeah. I'll get your panties in the bunch. We still got hand weapons in the 50. <laughs> That's the spirit. Where the hell are they? They're everywhere. What are they like? Fan way out. Oh! <laughs> Turning necks into stumps. <laughs> yeah. Go! I need a weapon. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Uh. Yeah! No! no! Oh, hold on to that thing. Whoa. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Buddy! Without hesitation. Oh, he's... Yeesh. Oh, man. Shit. Oh, no. Hey! Damn, dude. Ah. You weren't lying when they said they needed mud. Uh. Yeah, man, don't yeah, keep running your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Epic badass line. Uh. God. Bible, where you at? Oh! Ooh. Bible. And then there were two. Oh no. No. Uh, no! Come on, get him, Logan Lerman. Machine. Damn it, man. Oh, no. Button up. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, son. It's okay. Yeah, what can any of us do? I did my best. Oh. I know. I wonder if they were in the tank together for this moment, like shooting. First we call here? Yes, I'm, I'm scared. <sighs> oh, he needs his leader. I'm scared too. Oh, what a moment. Uh, I want to surrender. Please don't. Yeah. They'll hurt you real bad, and they'll kill you real bad. Yeah. So. What I do? Fight. There's a hatch. You see it? I see it. You know where it is? I know where it is. 
<laughs> Ooh. Oh no. Crap. Yeah. Get in the hatch. Go. <laughs> yeah. Burrow yourself in, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh? Oh, oh, jeez. So much in his eyes. Interesting. Wow. Maybe he's the mirrored version of him on that side. Could be. I mean, so much of this movie, I've been thinking, like, just... How much of the same movie is happening on the other side? Yeah. God, just the color contrast now. Complete opposite. From hell to this. Orange to blue. Tungsten to daylight? Oh. Wow. I could tell you if this would have happened earlier in the film when they first met. He wouldn't have had this level of respect and love for him like he does now. Oh no, not not uh, not at all. That like protected him through the whole experience. Yeah. In ways that he never could have realized day one, even though this is like day two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, it felt from, long, it felt longer than what you're what you're saying. But yes, it, from the jump. Yeah. So many event uh, things happened in that one or two days that it felt so much longer than that. Whose face is on the handle of his gun? Was that maybe his wife? I don't know. Is, it, is this going to be us? As Americans, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Easy, boy. Easy now. We're on the same side. Huh. He ain't never gonna let go of that gun. <laughs> yeah. This dude is going to have severe PTSD. Hey, you're a hero, buddy. Oh. I mean, he is, though. He is. No, I, I'm not laughing at. I don't think he's cowardly in any way. No, the the loaded nature of that sentiment in that moment. <laughs> Like, there's so many layers. And now we're just moving away. Now we're just moving on. And just, like, what a great contrasting end shot. Like, a nice bookend. Well, we started off on that slow shot coming up with the horse, and then... Yeah, exactly. To this. Waiting for something to pop out the tank. Now we're just staring down at it all. Yeah. Ascending to the heavens, essentially. Yeah. As the whole thing's buttoned up. Yeah. Release the air cut. <laughs> wow, man. Yeah. By the way, if you guys are listening to us on Apple or Spotify, <laughs> if you would not mind rating us, we really would appreciate it. I know John and myself would. Yes. Please, so much. Thank you so much. Uh, no, really. Oh, Brad Pitt produced it. Cool. Oh, that makes course. sense. Yeah, sure. um, no, really, really heartfelt film. I appreciated David uh, Ayer's gritty style of directing and writing, too. I mean, look. The action sequences and the cinematography, I mean, I, I can't... Is this real footage? I would assume This looks so. like authentic footage. Yeah, Not I would assume. Continue, but, but yeah. No, I, I was just saying, like, I appreciated David Ayer's uh, gritty style of filmmaking from the action sequences and uh, the cinematography. like, And also, too, I, I truly appreciated just... You know, I always talk about this when we're in uh, period pieces, like really getting the feel of uh, that we're in that time and feeling like we're there. Uh, but I think the thing uh, that I appreciated the most in this was the camaraderie between the team. 
the dialogue, the interactions. It was so good. And I like that things were not always so black and white. And what I mean by that is, yeah, they were, for the most part, they were good guys, but there were also times where they were... <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, but also, too, there were times where they were they could be pieces of shits, too. That's uh, what I'm like, saying. Like, yeah, yeah think, like when we got I to... I think you, good guy is yeah. a very dubious term. Well, I'm term saying things were not that. always black and white. Like I'm saying, when we got to the scene after Logan Lerman had, had you know, become a man, if you will, and then... We get to see John Bernthal when he, in a drunk state of mind, was not a very good human being there in any way, shape, or form, even though we were on... I mean, even when he wasn't drunk the, most of the time. Yeah, like. no, 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 of course. But I did, but there was that scene that really humanized him when they were in the hospital wing, and him sure. and, and Logan Lerman talked. I was like, okay, I'm, <laughs> I appreciate John Bernthal's performance. I haven't been on this character's side the whole time at all, really. Um, but I do appreciate this interaction we're getting. It's kind of humanizing the character just a little bit, even though I know he's been through hell and back, and I can only imagine psychologically what that does to some one. Well, yeah, it's that it's that ray of humanity that for a character like that, especially, I mean, you have to wonder like, OK, this guy has seen the horrors of war, obviously. But like, what else was this dude's life like that? You know, it's like, what are all the layers of who this guy is? And I have to believe that, you know, it's that nuance of like there's humanity in this person mm -hmm. and here's a glimpse of it. Uh but, you know, it's it's yeah, it's part of this gray portrait of who he is and by extension, who all these people are. And uh, and yeah, like I thought that, yeah, this this whole movie kind of uh, dealt in the gray or just the mud of, <laughs> of everything. Because, yeah, I mean, you know, you're with uh, American soldiers. We are Americans watching this. So, like, there is a certain subconscious just like, oh, yeah, you know, like the these are the good guys and the Germans are the bad guys. And like certainly. You know, there's nothing, uh, uh, um, it's the opposite of reprehensible, you know, like the Nazi ideology is completely reprehensible. Um, but you know, it does speak to the fact that there are all these, you know, ideologies and strategies and all this stuff kind of hovering in a cloud above you. But when you're there on the ground, you know, and you're limited to just, you know, the people next to you and the gun in your hands, <laughs> Yeah, it's like you can proselytize about, you know, morality and what war is, but I think at a certain point, I think what this movie seeks to kind of give to you is that experience that, like, I don't know, goodness and badness and all sorts of things are kind of stories you tell yourself to get through the the trauma of it all. Because, like, watching this, you know, it's like you've got this character uh, in Bible, you know, who is, you know, obviously the most religious character, but, but, but by proxy is keeping them all, you know, uh, he's bringing at least that element to the whole team. Mm -hmm. And you get the sense that like, aside from him, I don't really think these guys are religious or care about the concept of God even, mm -hmm. but it's not even about that at a certain point. It's like, or when they're saying like best job in the world, you know, or, or whatever that, that thing they kept repeating it's was about morale. It is about morale. And it's like, all we can do is just convince ourselves. Like there was so much great acting because what I loved was was so many moments were filled with these, you know, the, these words, these these you know sentiments and things that appear one way on face value, but when you look at the faces and you look at the body language. You yes. can feel what they're really saying mm -hmm. that they can't say because to say it in plain terms would probably be too much and probably break down that emotional wall. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like I, I, I thought this was really fascinating because obviously David Ayer, you know, from his most uh, respected work is clearly, you know, skilled at bringing empathy to people in the harsher positions in life. I mean, we've seen him do a lot of gangster and cop related stuff. So that's obviously flirting on the line. And this is sort of like a global geopolitical version of that. Essentially, you just have warring clans, essentially. And so this is actually kind of a great, I think, kind of piece for him because it really speaks to the empathy that I think, you know, whenever I hear David Ayer, you know, speak or shoot a sentiment out there, like I get the sense that he is a thoughtful and a compassionate, empathetic guy who also is very aware of the harshness that exists in the world and the places in which there is no easy answer to right and wrong and the ways in which, you know, you might have to in some way collaborate with a person who otherwise is sort of reprehensible and you would never want to know otherwise. And so 
this I thought really skillfully, you know, depicted in what feels like very real time and what feels kind of it, it, it had the right scope because you you meet, you know, Brad Pitt and then you meet the team mm-hmm. and then you meet uh, uh, Logan, Logan Lerman, you meet Norman and machine. Yeah, it's like you meet dad, you meet the family and then you meet us essentially or, or the eye line, you know, for us you know, to sympathize the most with and to kind of go through this rite of passage alongside yeah. this horrific, but at the time, especially, you know, pretty common rite of passage. And yeah, like the way in which you're at first sort of, uh, you know, put at odds with Brad Pitt and you're like, come on, man, like, geez, like, take it easy. You, but very quickly you see, like, I get what he's doing, though. Of course. And I get that it's not only about him and Norman, it's about the team. I'm helping you not only survive this situation of war but also the situation of the people around us that we have to be uh you know bonded to in order to get through yeah. this and to complete our mission and yeah. there were so many times uh, like Brad Pitt's performance like there's so much in what he's doing that feels clear even though it is unsaid where i i just constantly got the sense of like I see myself in this kid. I know exactly what he's going through. I cannot afford to a- engage with him and probably don't yeah. even have the the means in this position to yeah. engage with him in a truly compassionate way. But what I can do is really protect his transition into the depths that we are about to For traverse. Sure. Yeah. For sure. I mean, and just adding to that, like, I was frustrated when Brad Pitt was, like, holding the gun to him. And even though, obviously, as a Jew, like, obviously, I wanted to lead as many ss nazis as possible in this time period of course but like it's frustrating to to see like him taking away that innocence of norman but at the same time it's like this is not an innocent place that they're in right now this is a war and you know in order for them and the team to survive like he's got to put norman in a hardened state of mind and in a hardened place yeah and the journey we go through with norman getting to that place i just thought it was such an amazing journey and arc that we go through with his character yeah uh and at the same time i just i feel so bad because <laughs> he didn't even want to be there and obviously i'm not I, saying i'm not saying he, uh, the other guys wanted to be there although but especially would, yeah, over but especially, his head, yeah. yeah for sure um so it was, uh, you know, quite, uh, and Logan Lerman, uh, I haven't seen he's too terrific. many. Yeah. He's a really great actor. I haven't really, I haven't watched Percy Jackson or many other of his, uh, performances, but I really thought he did such a phenomenal job. Uh, like you said, just breaking down barriers with his expressions, uh, his facial reactions. I thought he did such a phenomenal job and like, he really is the audience in this film. He represents us in this is a lot uh, like kind of how we would react to being thrust into such a crazy situation. And, you know, I felt that vulnerability through him. And also, too, on the same point of Brad Pitt, yeah, he's got to be the hardened dad at points. But also, too, he becomes the the sympathetic mother at some points, too. Like, you can feel the vulnerable side that he feels towards Norman, too. Um, and I appreciated those delicate moments that he felt like he loved Norman. And I, yeah. I love those moments where the, the, those delicate situations that he felt uh, and that he had with Norman. Like, I really love and I thought David Ayer was really able to balance those moments. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like, again, like you said, in transitioning him into what he needed him to become, because at the end of the day, yeah, he's got to get him ready for the situations that they're in. But also too, like his life and the lives of his, the team members and everyone else that are fighting around him, they're in each other's hands. Totally. So. Yeah. And, 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 you know, War Daddy seems to exist as this intermediary between both sensibilities because he can certainly be, he can certainly have that bloodlust and that detachment that you sort of need. But yeah, he's not fully detached from what it feels like he's probably just lost because like he says that thing about like, this is my home. Like, you know, clearly yeah. he wouldn't be as he gotten as far as he has and be as good at he says that thing about like, you know, we're one of the few squadrons or little battalions like this who's like stayed together, kept together, yes. and it has been doing this for a minute now. And so Yeah. No, yeah. And, and so like it's a it's a fascinating array of emotional tones and you only get it's like I, I really like the way that this played out because you you feel like you're joining, even though it has these very still and very poised bookends and these very sort of, uh, 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 you know, kind of sculpted isn't the right word exactly, but yeah, these very deliberate bookends that then sort of just give way to action that just keeps going. Like there's this felt 
almost like watching something like a 1917 or something like that, where, you know, that movie, the whole conceit is like it's one long take, I still haven't so seen to it, speak. Yeah, yeah. It's played off as one long take. It's very immediate. You're in the real time. And this isn't fully real time, but this did feel a lot like that. And this restricted you in the sense that you're almost always with one of them, one of this core, you know, one of the crew of the Fury is who you're always kind of with. And so it's like it has this narrow view, not in a not in a, a bad way or as a slight, but it has yeah. this sort of focus that keeps things very contained to this place and time. You're not hopping around a lot of places. You're not, you know, zooming very far out. And I think that enhances the perspective of everything and it enhances the, you know, like in the early parts of the movie, you're spending so much time just moving around and, and you know, on this caravan and like it's muddy and damp yeah. and and just unpleasant all around for everybody. And it's kind of like everyone's just bored. We're just moving. <laughs> and then we come into a little township and then there's a firefight. But then we get this moment of respite. And, you know, then there's that little like that that whole scene in the in the house with um, the, the woman and Emma like was so tense because obviously, you know, where these things could head. Right. because you have a bunch of you know soldiers repressed and you know having a break for a minute um but that i thought was a, a terrific example of like i love the way this used scenes because it never really took breaks to have like a lot of cliche you know here's your requisite like oh my girl back home kind of scene not to slight other movies and the approach that other war movies take but this had like two very distinct prolonged scenes you had the scene upstairs and then you had the scene um later on uh uh, uh there's this there's a scene later on when they finally start to bond with him and everything and like the actual five of them really they come give together him his nickname. Yeah, yeah, I think it's that scene. Like, there, there were a couple Machine. scenes that really struck me in the moment of like, oh, we're just letting this scene be what it is. And yeah. and I like that because it really did feel like there's not a break. You never really get to pull your head out of this. And even in the brief moments, you know, where you are taken away from it, you know, it's it's still right around the corner. It still, you know, could ambush you at any second, yeah. you know. And, uh, and yeah, it's just like the sense of perspective and the portrait of... That's the thing is like, yeah, th there are the broad strokes of who the good and bad guys are. And even though like, yeah, <laughs> you know, when we're dealing with Nazis, there's not a lot of, you know, moral wiggle room there. But there is still that essence of when you're just out here on the battlefield and you're kind of all that stuff is upstairs on the table of the politicians. You do feel just the the horrific nature of humanity all around even if you, you know, aren't like, oh, these precious Nazis, you know, like at the same time, you know, this is this sort of harsh, awful thing yeah. that is like made necessary and that people just got to deal with. And, and yeah, as like both a coming of age story, but also, you know, for uh, the Bragg Pitt character, like, you know, the end of, you know, like coming to a place of rest and, you know, completing the mission, so to speak. But even the mission is just another in a long sequence of battles and things are just going to move on. <laughs> you know, it's and I did uh, appreciate too that moment at the end where Norman or machine was hiding in the dirt. And then that one Nazi soldier saw him and decided yeah. not because, again, it's like, hey, there's other, you know, from their perspective, there's other soldiers on their side who kind of were like Norman as well. Not everyone is extremely evil like a lot of them are, but not ex not everyone, you know, wants to be in war and wants to, you know, murder and annihilate everyone. So I appreciate that one, you know, uh, you know, semblance of David Ayer just trying to say, hey, not everyone is extremely evil and wants to, to kill. And also, too, another thing I do want to say, too, we talk about all these great characters that we got from Brad Pitt, John Bernthal, Shia LaBeouf, Michael Pena, and Logan Lerman. I thought the tank itself was an actual character. It was. And, and, and just like, and, <laughs> and as we pulled away from the tank, like seeing it just laying, it was kind of like, you know, we were, we lost someone there in, it, in its own right. And it's uh, like a horse, like it's like the horse yeah, almost, yeah. you know, like, and, and the way that they characterize it by constantly having the barrel with the name poking into frame yeah. and like the way they use that. Like I was, I was quite impressed by this as a feat of uh, like, you know, again, from, from, what I know about David Ayer's career from the things I've seen thus far, like I was 
legitimately impressed by what he was able to do here from both a writing and direction standpoint and every other department in between. Mm -hmm. Like I was sitting there marveling going like, man, how, what must this have been like to shoot? And a movie like this especially is an undertaking and is going to be arduous no matter what. Like I have to imagine that even if you're probably not spending that much on locations in particular, you have so many just like no man's lands and countrysides, mm -hmm. but just like the undertaking of all the rest of it has to be such. They already make a bunch of, you know, like comparisons to how like a, a film crew is kind of like an army, uh, you know, and, and this was one of those things where, yeah, there's there's no glamour, but there are moments of beauty and there's not it doesn't feel like a fantasy or like a rah rah kind of thing. You know, it's like there are those moments, but even when he's, you know, s you know, screaming, even when Machine by the end is, you know, screaming like, fuck you, Nazi bastard, you know, like even that stuff still feels like part of the greater theme of like this is in the moment. It's what you need to do to forget about all the other things that are just going to lock you up and, and you know, probably get you dead. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, I just love the gray with which this operated its whole thing and then yeah having these two you know really tense but also tender centerpiece scenes where yeah there's the one upstairs with the girls and then there's the other scene with everybody in the tank uh yeah just i thought this managed to avoid feeling cliche or like there's like too much you know uh, uh idealization or magic and then when you get to that moment at the end when the other soldier is checking under the tank and you can see the wheels turning and then finally he's just caught up by the others and decides yeah. to leave it's it's just the right at least for me the right amount of that peripheral magic that karmatic inexplicable thing of like even though you have been forced to learn past this point yeah. that instinct serves you well and i did think that yeah even though uh grady or whatever the john bernthal character's name was you know is like the worst guy out of all of them By far, and that yeah. moment in there doesn't redeem him it does sh like fully it does show you the human that exists within and it does speak to how harsh and and messy all of this is, and hey, maybe this guy wouldn't even be that good on a normal day without all this trauma compounding, but mm -hmm. still, that little moment of like, you know, I don't think any of us are good, but I think you're good. I yeah. think you're a good person. And jokes aside, after watching this film, and again, like I said, I have not seen too many David Ayer films, but jokes aside, after watching this ensemble piece, I can have, I understand why Warner Brothers would want to have David Ayer do Suicide Squad again. I, this, oh, yeah. this actually makes me now really want to see. I mean, not that I didn't before, but it really does make <laughs> me want to see that uh, just to get like his true vision If because he has said for many years now that that was really his version. Uh, so, But after watching this, like I said, I, I truly want to see that film a lot more now because uh, the, the few films we have seen together of David Ayers uh, from a writing perspective, uh, like you said, he just, he knows how to compile uh, just human, raw human emotion, sympathy, and just, I love his themes that he does in his film. So I, like many of you, I'm not a very huge fan of the theatrical cut of Suicide Squad. So if that we, we don't need to flog. No, that. I know. Everybody I'm just, knows I'm just where saying it, it, if, if we ever do get that version, I'd be very interested one day uh, because the other films of his that I have seen, I really enjoy, so I'm very curious. That is to say, not everyone makes a perfect film every day of the, of I mean, the week. So, yeah, I mean, it could, it could also be a flawed film as well. I don't know, but I this It'll, definitely it, it certainly seems the, like something that this, would be much yeah, more soulful and sure. thoughtful. The only point I'm making is this definitely makes me more intrigued than, than sure. uh, David Ayer's uh, sympathizing words that he gives us every day on Twitter about sure. that being his his own film. But uh, I, I again, I really enjoyed this uh, very gritty, emotional. Uh, just camaraderie take on uh, World War II. I and would a assume, tank movie. yeah, in a and tank. A tank. Like, in I'm a not tank. used to seeing yeah. tank movies yeah. where, like, and granted, there's other kinds of combat, but you do have like that. Uh, there's that one, especially you know, pro, uh, you know, uh, gripping set piece where, yeah, they are just fu tank fighting on the ground and yeah. they're losing left and right, and and yeah, and you, you, like you know, it's something like this. I mean, this seems I associate David Ayer the most with ground level, you know, grungy crime movies mm -hmm. which those speak to me the most in terms of like what suicides like watching training dams like man 
guy who wrote this, what Suicide Squad could have been. But this also speaks to, you know, the scope and the effect. Like, you know, this is effects heavy in, in, yeah. in terms of just all of the, and again, it's harsh and it's hard to look at, but the carnage and the squibs and, and, uh -huh. and the way all that is realized and the way that it is both punctuated, but also like super normalized by the situation through the depiction you know uh, is yeah like th this this speaks to a filmmaker that i am very excited to like see more from and to dive into the works of and and it gives me that sort of like this is just another boost to the sort of like well if david ayer's got something coming out i, I probably want to at least check it out you know well congrats jonald you're gonna see one of my films soon <laughs> that's true well yeah. gang fury we did it <laughs> We lived through this. Yes, we did. White striking. I think it will be on my mind for, for some time to come. Thank you, Andrew. I'm Thank glad you. we got to share this together. Thank you, Johnny, too. We've been bonded by fire. We both got to, uh, you know, comment below. What's our war names? <laughs> That we have Sup definitely, definitely superhero not reference earned man in me. life. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave us your thoughts down below. And uh, yeah, just, just be well. Hug your loved ones. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Much love.